Hello and welcome to Epic Bl uh, 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 uh. Today we are going to have epic naval battles. Yes, you hear me right. There's like a lot of questions to do it, so I decided, yeah, let's do one special episode. Of course, it will be between Great Britain and Spain. So first of all, what are the rules? We are going to have three battles. First of them, Tech 9, where we will be having Castile and England and 20 of force limit, of basic force limit of the navy, then technology number 19, when we'll be having Spain and Great Britain, and 40 of basic force limit, and the last part will be on technology number 25, so the last technology, when we are able to update our heavy ships. And over there, the basic force limit will be 100. On the ideas, of course, the nations will be using the bonuses from the ideas, but I decided to not include any idea groups, just, you know, to make it simpler over here. Of course, prestige and navy tradition will be maximum. Both nations will be having a flagship with special bonuses. Of course, Spain is having their own bonus, but you'll see that soon. And the basic admiral skills will be free, 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 and maybe with some boosts from the national ideas. Okay, so those are the basics. Let's begin it. All right, so the first battle is on technology number nine. You can see that the engagement width is 38. 25 is basic, but the nations are using plus 30% from the leader maneuver, plus 10% because I'm going to fight on the coastal sea, not in the British Isles, don't worry, and plus 3 from the flagship. On the basic stacks, as said, both nations are just having 20 without any bonuses. On the morale, also both nations are having same. 3.7, they are using plus 25% from the naval tradition, plus 10% from the prestige, and 5% from the flagship. On the combat abilities, it's just England getting plus 10% heavy ship combat ability from the ideas. And on the other bonuses, yes, remember, Castile is having a special bonus to the flagship, which is giving plus 100% cannons of the flagship, while England has the same bonus but for 50%. So, this small amount of the force limit. I think this bonus might be quite significant and might even get Spain Castile a chance to win at least the first battle. Let's see that. Round one fight! So, who didn't expect that to happen? Raise his hand. I didn't. But you could see. First of all, it was a small force limit. Second of all, England lost the flagship quite quickly. And with the flagship bonuses on this point of the game, yeah, it was quite important. Okay, so the second battle is on technology number 19. So, we have improved heavy ships over here. You can see the engagement width is slightly bigger because both of the nations are having a bonus to the maneuver of the admiral, so that is increasing the naval engagement width. On the force limit, as mentioned, the basic force limit for this battle is 40, but Spain is having in the national ideas plus 25% of the force limit, so they have 10 more heavy ships. It seems as an amazing bonus, right? But we'll see if it will be enough for this, because morale difference is huge. Great Britain is having 5.8 morale, they have plus 20 from national ideas, and Spain is just having 5.0. And I don't know if you guys remember, but morale right now, on this patch, is the most important 
bonus to the navy that you can get. And in the meantime on the combat abilities is changing furthermore because Great Britain is having plus 25% bonus to the heavy ships while Spain is getting just 10%. And finally on the other bonuses it's of course the mentioned early maneuver to the leader and still Spain's having this plus 50% more of the cannons of the flagship. So right now we'll see what is stronger, the force slimy for Spain or morale and combat abilities of Great Britain. But in my opinion, as I know what is happening in the game right now in this patch, morale is way more important. Let's see that. Round two. Fight! Okay, you can see it was a disaster for Spaniards, so force limit is not so important against morale, at least if you are going 1v1, because there are some uh, tricks how to use your force limit against way stronger fleet, but that's not for this episode. So for the third battle we have the most improved heavy ships and we have Age of Revolutions, which in one of the perks is giving you plus 20% naval engagement with, and that's why both nations naval engagement with is increased by 5, they have 45. And as mentioned, the force limit, the basic force limit is 100, but Spain again is getting plus 25%. On the morale, it's increased by the technology, and of course Great Britain is keeping an enormous bonus of the Spaniards. No changes in the combat abilities and other bonuses. So yeah, even though Spain is having 25 more heavy ships, I don't think it will be enough for the morale difference. Let's see it. Round three. Fight! Alright, so that was I think expected, so thank you so much for watching, if you like this format and maybe you'd like to see another videos, maybe Madias or something, please leave a like and comment on this video and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so thank you so much for watching and see you soon.